<laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> Sorry. It's just my Pactena. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> Okay, okay, so that might have been a little over dramatic, but yes, my Pactena indeed broke. Uh, when we were out in Louisiana uh, with, with uh, Ryan and I, we did our six park rove. I brought along my Pactena, Old Faithful. This is really my number one antenna. And uh, when I set it up, noticed the SWR was a little high. I'm like, what's the deal? So I have a, a link for 17 meters, a link for 20 meters, and a link for 40 meters. Uh, tried all those, it was bad for everything. Tried swapping out different coax. I did bring different coax, different adapters. Everything just wasn't working. So as I unplugged the 17 meter link, so it was only the 17 meter wire that was connected, still bad SWR. So I'm kind of suspecting that it's the wire. I use this a lot. It gets wound up and unwound uh, all kinds of times. Uh, throughout the week. So let's hop on the bench. We'll troubleshoot this and see what we can do to fix this because this might just happen to you. My name is Mike K8MRD and you're watching Ham Radio Tube. All right, here is the antenna in question. And I'm suspecting it's just something to do with the wire. I, I strongly doubt there's anything wrong with the actual antenna. Uh, I modified this antenna, put this yellow wire on it, made it a linked and fed half wave way, way back, gosh, years ago before linkedin fed half waves were even a thing um, so the first thing i want to do is just check continuity between the other elements so this is the the little i don't know eight eight or so foot section of 20 meters and we've got continuity there so that's good this is the 10 or so meters of wire for the 40 meter link and hopefully i can get some kind of continuity through here because it's just cut in there there we are okay so that's good We've got continuity in the other links. And as I suspected, uh, I think it's just this 17 meter wire because when just this link was hooked up, I was still having the issues. So now I want to check just the antenna itself, the, you know, the transformer part. So see if we get continuity from the center. If I can stick it in to the center and we do. So that's good. All that's good, where the wire's connected. So the wigglies are moving through all this. So now, if we touch the center and the end of my 17 meter link, no continuity there. So something is happening between the, the feed point, essentially, and the end of this wire. And as I take a closer look at it, if we look at this loop, it seems to be a little not good there. I don't know how well you can see, but right at the top of the loop, right there, I'm kind of thinking that just might be broken, like the, the jacket. See how it's kind of stretched there? So I suspect that is the uh, problem. I was thinking maybe did my crimp kind of short out the connection, so I checked continuity there. There's, you know, in case this cut through the jacket and was shorting out the metal inside somehow, that's not the case. So it's definitely this wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this wire. We'll just unsolder it and I've got some extra wire lying around. This is, this is the Soda Beams uh, uh, 26 gauge wire. I like it a lot, really nice wire, but apparently when you use it too much, it fails. No big deal. A Little bit of surgery and we'll be, we'll be back in uh, tip top shape, hopefully. All right, commence surgery. I've got a little flux here and this is the, this little, blob of solder right there is where it actually connects through. So I'm just gonna try my darndest to suck that out cleanly or not. Let's try it another way. I can just yank it out here like that. There we are. Get rid of this old wire. This can be a cat chew toy now. Well, almost now. And then we can suck out the solder, maybe. Beautiful, just like that. Now we've got our hole, center hole uh, open back up. Go ahead and clean that off with a little alcohol. Just get rid of the 
flux there. Clean antenna is a happy antenna. Okay. And now I've got a new length of wire. We're gonna go ahead and feed it through from the top and then the bottom and then the top and then the bottom. So we'll have a nice little solder connection there. So strip off just a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, nothing, a couple millimeters there. And we can insert that back into the hole. Get rid of some of this slack. And then a little flux on here. Clean our tip. Don't need much. That should do her. Take up the rest of this slack. Again, some rubbing alcohol to get the flux off there. Clean it up, both sides. And that is a beautifully soldered new wire. Except I missed some flux. There we are, beautiful. Now I'm gonna take the new wire and the old wire and I'm just gonna kind of match them up. I'm gonna make this, bring this a little bit in, give myself a little bit of slack to allow for the extra wire that's going through the uh, loops there. And I'm just going to carefully match these up in length while also watching out for the cat because he wants to attack the wire right now. And now I'm at the end of the loop, but I also need to account for the loop and everything. So I'm gonna fold it down, make it taut, and then we'll cut it. I'm gonna cut it at the end of the, uh, the little banana clip there. I'm not gonna solder the banana clip on. I'm gonna take it out and tune it, make sure it's resin before I solder the banana clip on and crimp all that stuff. Now for tuning, this is the old wire. I personally always like to keep like a four inch kind of tagline, if you will. So from the tip of the loop to the end of the uh, banana plug there, usually make my wires about four inches long. So I'm gonna, re I'm gonna replicate that using this S beaner and I'm just gonna put the wire in this smallest hole here and feed it through the next one just to give myself that, uh, it's a little long, that little four inch loop. This is all gonna matter. So there we are, four inches. So now we can go outside and put this up and uh, just put this on the analyzer and see what it looks like. And now I can hook the carabiner up to my mast. Go ahead and raise it up. And that should be fine, just hanging just above the ground. Now we can take a look at the antenna on the analyzer and do a little sweep of 17 meters. Oh, look at that. It's so low, 1.20, looks like we're a little long. So I'm gonna trim it up a little bit, but at 1.2, 1.3 to one, not too shabby. Now that we have a working and resonant antenna again, we can take off this carabiner. I wanna be careful not to lose where that loop is there, because we're gonna take this little ferrule. Links for these uh, are in Pactenna's website under the frequently asked questions section, but I'll leave links as well. And we're just gonna squeeze this guy really tight. Sometimes it helps to put a little bit of spit on it, help it slide. These are not the funnest things to get on, but with a little bit of force, they will go. Come on, baby. Sometimes you can use pliers. I try not to, but these don't have any uh, any grooves on them, so I'm not worried about breaking the jacket too much. There we are. And you want to have enough of a loop that the carabiner will fit in there, so that's good. Then I can take this little ferrule crimping tool that I have, put the wire through, and crimp. Just like that. So now that's good. Now we need to solder on this 
little banana plug to the end of the wire. So I just need to strip off about a quarter inch or so. This part's kind of tedious with the dexterity, but helping hands, well, they help. All right. There's a little tiny hole right here in the top that we can feed our solder. I'm just gonna heat it up from underneath and wait for it to flow. There it goes. Beautiful. And then lastly, you don't have to put this on first, but uh, we get some heat shrink here as it slides over the plug and go ahead and seal it up. Then we just take our carabiner, put it in the hole, and then this is the other end, the 20 meter link with the female. So I can go ahead and connect that to the carabiner and we are back in business, just like that. <laughs>